Hello! This video is the third video of our walkthrough series on how to use my Dragon City Bot Python application. Before we proceed, it's important to note that the videos in this series are not interconnected with one another. Therefore, it's not really going to matter if you watch this walkthrough series in chronological order or not. Also, a discretion that this bot is not a cheating program or a hacking program because it does not alter the game variables directly. This bot only relies on computer vision to perform its program tasks, mimicking how a human would perform the same tasks over and over again, especially in this particular game. In other words, it's just an automation program, therefore, it's within fair use. With that being said, we will now be taking a look on the Watch Skip 6H ads and the Dragon Rescue Auto Combat features of this bot. If you're new to the series and wondering how to install this bot into your own system, you can head over to my GitHub page. The link is in the description down below. Be sure to follow the readme instructions on the step-by-step -step guide on installing this program into your own machine. And after a successful installation of this program into your own machine, we can now open it and run it by double-clicking the main.py directly from the folder or in my case i will just be running it inside my visual studio code by going over to the main.py and click run start debugging and click the python file or the or to debug it using the python debugger once running a pop-up window will appear it's going to display the instructions we need to follow in order to, for this bot to work as intended so now let's follow the instruction and open our dragon city desktop application After opening, we can now confirm it by pressing yes from the prompt and it's going to give us the list of the tasks that this bot was programmed to do from this drop down list. Again, for this video, I'll just be showcasing the skip 6H ads and the dragon rescue auto combat feature of this bot. Before anything else, uh, I've closed every unnecessary pop up windows first to ensure a smoother demonstration of our, our bot. And so now, let's choose the skip 6H ads option and let's read the instruction together by pressing OK and the pop-up is going to show up and the instruction is here which says locate hatchery, breeding, and buildings that, and make sure it's in maximize window mode. So um, hatchery or breeding, like breeding mountain, breeding... Uh, ultra breeding 2 or the sanctuary will work but in my case uh, I'll be choosing the hatchery buildings also that has countdowns like a uh, huge food farm can can also benefit from this as long as they have this skip 6h ads button uh, unlike in my training center which it doesn't have right so um, also it's important to note that it will only work when when you have this button popping up uh, somewhere in your game and most notably it's going to be in your hatchery if you have dragons that are currently or if you have eggs that are currently on hatching process so um yeah it, that's the important thing otherwise you won't see this button so now i'm gonna use it to hatch my kratos dragon you can see there is still 24 hours left and since we will be skipping six hours uh, every time we watch ads, uh, so I think there will be three cycles that this bot is going to get through this process and it's gonna switch for another thing. I'm just gonna speed everything up for you, so uh, let's do it. So skip, hit yes, and there you go. All right, I think we've already exhausted all of our skip 6H ads for today. And you can see that because there's no more of the play button that is popping up on my hatchery right now. And it's nothing to be worried about. It's gonna be back for tomorrow. And unfortunately for this bot feature, it's going to continue indefinitely. So uh, there's only one way that we can stop it from execution or to go back to its main menu. And that is by stopping the program and running it 
back again from our Visual Studio. So um, now, moving on to the next one, we will be choosing the Dragon Rescue Auto Combat option. And let's press OK and let's read the instruction together. Now it's saying open the Dragon Rescue and make sure it's in Maximize Window Mode. So the, our Dragon Rescue is obviously right here at the bottom of our screen or bottom left portion of our screen. So let's press that. And now we got our our Dragon Rescue open. So um, from here, we're going to, to ensure that it's a front test program currently running and not blocked by any other program. So the same as the instruction from before. And by the way, to run this one, we gotta choose which dragon are we going to rescue first. And in this video, I'll just be choosing a common dragon because I can accomplish it in just a one run. So uh, let's choose a common dragon here, something that I wasn't able to obtain yet or not owned. And it's going to be a juggler dragon. And let's rescue it right now. And now we are in our missing dragon rescue and let's go back to our prompt and we're going to confirm it by pressing yes. It's going to prompt us to choose which nth team will fight first. This will pick the team away from the strongest. So uh, the way it works is I'll just be demonstrating it to you. In this case, I, I think I can finish this dragon rescue in just one sitting. I'll be picking a larger number which is 30, 22 and 22 is what I believe is enough to finish this entire run in just one sitting so i'm just gonna select that and hit ok and it's gonna directly go into it it's gonna pick the 20th 22nd team away from the strongest and you can see it by here by pressing the the back button or the left left button and we are at the 22nd team away from the strongest and it's gonna fight directly so I think at this point I'll just be ch showing you chunks of this this uh, bot cycle or this run because um, it's going to be very long and I don't think um, speeding the entire thing up is gonna be really helpful so so yeah let's see let's see some of its some of the doings of the bot right now. By the way, to inform you, I wasn't holding anything. Uh, everything is done by the bot itself. All right.
All right, I think the missing dragon rescue is already over as you can see here and well I ended up um, showing the entire thing instead because uh, that I think is gonna be more in insightful it's gonna prove that um, everything can be run in just a seating or if you have a capable dragon so it can really do its job from start to finish when it comes to missing dragon rescue such as in my case here I think that'll be all for this video and know that there are still quite some bot tasks that we will tackle in the future videos as you can see here and some of which are very interesting and personally I find very useful if you don't want to miss that subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell if you find this video in any way useful leave a like and if you have some questions clarifications and suggestions for this project leave them down below and i'll be sure to check them out thank you very much